Alrighty, this morning we have a special guest talking about a special tournament happening next week in the East. Andrew Smith is with us this morning, the president of Greenville Visitation and everything of that matter. He's here to tell us about the Little League World Series. So Thanks for having me. You're welcome. So it's next week. What can we expect just off the bat? Gosh, well, yeah, it's right around the corner. Um, we've got a couple of events coming up uh, that the public can attend. Uh, mm -hmm. The opening ceremonies, the celebration to introduce the teams uh, will be Saturday night at Town Common mm -hmm. from 6 to 8. And the public is absolutely invited to attend that. We've got a, a quick 30 minute uh, celebration and ceremonies that will um, just introduce the teams. And then after that at 630, all the athletes that uh, are from the different countries from around the uh, United States, we get a chance to just have a lot of fun. We've got kayaking, we've got photo booths, we've got friendship bracelets, we have dunking booths. Um, but the public can attend that as well. And their children, if, if families want to come out, their kids can also participate in those types of things as well. All right, so lots of action from the start. And this year is a very special year for a few reasons. One being our Pitt County or Pitt County League 12U girls are hosting and it's the 50th anniversary of the Little League Softball World Series tournament. So can you just tell me how excited you are about that? Yeah, 50th anniversary is a big deal. Mm -hmm. um, we'll have a lot of different sponsors activated throughout the week. So when the public does come and they can mm -hmm. come to any game, it's all free. Uh, there's no yeah. charge for admission, um, but there'll be a lot of uh, freebies to pick up and, and sponsors to visit. Um, and of course, we are really excited, Jason, about the local team being in it again. Mm -hmm. um, I would say that if you were coming out to support the local team and they actually start their first game Sunday at seven. Mm -hmm. So if you're coming out, please come early because they're going to attract a lot of attention. So come out at least an hour early. Make sure that you get uh, a good seat or, or get some seats in the outfield or even along the grassy areas. But that's going to be big demand games for sure. And Greenville's been hosting this for a few years and is going to continue for the next few years. What does this mean for the local economy? Yeah, it's our fourth year hosting. We're contracted through 2027, so mm -hmm. they're going to be here for a while. And we hope they extend that. Uh, but it's huge for the economy. It's about a $1.3 million economic impact. Uh, but what I get excited about, Jason, is the exposure because all the games are on ESPN platform. So at the beginning of the week, you'll see games on ESPN+. Plus. You'll get to the middle of the week and you'll see ESPN News, ESPN2, ESPN. And then the championship game, which is going to be at 3 o'clock on Sunday, the 11th mm -hmm. of August, is at, uh, on ABC. So that's prime time. That's, you know, everybody across Canada, United States, even other places around the world are seeing Greenville. So that's exciting. Oh, no doubt about that. The tournament starts on the 4th, but the opening ceremony and everything's on the 3rd Saturday. That's right, yes. And then it goes through the 11th. Right. Alrighty, and then Elm Street will be closed. Is there anything that we need to know about the closers off the bat? Yes, thanks for asking that. So if you're coming to the games, mm -hmm. um, you cannot ride down Elm Street. It'll be closed from 10th Street to 14th Street. So mm -hmm. you'll have some barricades, so you're not going to be able to get down. But if you're coming to the games, you can park uh, on the 10th Street uh, side where the College Hill lot is, right yeah. on 10th Street and park there, there'll be a tent. Um, they'll guide you up the walkway uh, to the stadium or we've got a fleet of golf carts that will pick you there up. There you go. And you, know, you don't have to walk. <laughs> uh, you, we, can, we can take you right from, from uh, the parking lot to the, to the stadium, so easy to get there. All right, well, thank you, Andrew, for being here with us this morning. Excited for the games. Can't wait to watch. Thank you. All righty, and after this, we're gonna tune right back in for some local headlines, so stay with us.